Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today's video, we're going to be building a custom rap vocal chain from scratch using only FabFilter plugins. So these are some amazing sounding and looking plugins. They've got great GUIs, very easy to get around and dial things in quickly. So we're going to put together this chain and then I'm going to let you download all of the presets and settings for each of the plugins for the FabFilter users out there. Stay tuned for that. I'll put a link in the description below. Let's go ahead and dive in. All the way from the start, I can feel it in my heart like... From the start. All right, so we've got our session open here and you're gonna see I have a lead and two backing layers. I've just leveled these out a little bit. Haven't done anything otherwise except uh, routed them to an aux. We're gonna be processing. But uh, let me go ahead and just play back the dry recording. The window of time is closing. Up. You ain't gotta bake up a fake up. You better lace up. They'll be screaming at you every day. Better get your cake up. If you wanna get ahead in this life, happiness comes at a sky high price these days. I've been wary of the struggle. Is it necessary? Chase the hustle, join the grind, settle early, lose your mind now. Mm. Which what I prefer People looking at us saying what do they infer The cloudy headed dreams not what it seems This is more than me, my identity This is not free, it's risky First I'm just gonna cut some low end out of this So let me go to the low cut And you've got a brick wall option Which I think is really cool We can just have that slope just straight up And then uh, maybe just go you know below 100 or so 120 let me just take a listen and let's hear what we've got going on wake up you ain't got to bake up a fake up you better let up if you want to get ahead in this life happiness so great feature about the pro q is that anytime we create one of these points we can monitor that very closely here just by pressing and holding the headphone icon wake All that stuff, I'm not really a big fan of, so we'll cut most of that. I'm gonna just make this slope not quite as intense, just so that we don't lose everything, you know, in this 200 range. Wake up, you ain't gotta bake up a fake up. You better lace up, they'll be screaming at you every day. Better get your cake. So you can see right there, it was already too much. So I'm gonna bring that back. Wake up, you ain't gotta bake up a fake up. You better lace up, they'll be screaming at you every day. Better get your cake up if you wanna get ahead in this life. Happiness comes at us. And then I've got some low mids in my voice that I just tend to like to cut because it can uh, kind of compete with elements of the beat sometimes. Wake up, you ain't gotta bake up a fake up, you better lace up, they'll be screaming at you every day, better get your cake up if you wanna get ahead in this life, happiness comes at a sky high price these days, I've been wary of the struggle, is it necessary, chase? There's also some harshness between 2K and 3K, I'm noticing with certain mics that uh, that band, which I didn't really pay as close of attention to a while ago, it has uh, come up a lot more lately i don't know if it's the preamps or the mics but uh, it just doesn't sit well unless you uh, you know cut some of that out wait so you can hear right there at like two and a half it's just it's a it's a harsh frequency and again it just depends on the voice it depends on how it was recorded but if you notice some buildup, and that's why again this little monitor feature is great and then by holding command and then just dragging on the point, we can narrow the cue and uh, widen the cue if you want. And so again, this is just a really hands-on, intuitive uh, EQ. I can get around this thing very, very quickly. Pro Q3 is capable of being a dynamic EQ. And I'll show you how that works in just a little bit when we do the additive EQ for the vocal. But right now, those are some nice, just preliminary cuts. So let's play it back with the beat. Wake up, you ain't gotta bake up a fake up, you better lace up, they'll be screaming at you every day, better get your cake up, if you wanna get ahead in this life, happiness come. I think that's a good starting point, and so let's go ahead and move on to the compression. We're gonna use the newer uh, Pro C2 today, it's not that much different, I just got used to the original, but the, uh, the Pro C2 gives you some cool style options 
we'll test those out. But uh, let's just dial in a, a good setting. I'm going to just go ahead and pull the threshold all the way down. We'll keep the ratio low for now. And then we'll make some adjustments here. Wake up, you ain't got to bake up a fake up. You better lace up. They'll be screaming at you every day. Better get your cake up. If you want to get ahead in this life, happiness comes at a sky high price these days. I've been... All right, so up here we've got a nice visual representation of the gain reduction happening. And I like to just get a couple dB, you know, 3 dB uh, of reduction just so that we can get a feel for what's going on and then start adjusting some of the other things. So let's move the ratio up. Wake up, you ain't got to bake up a fake up. You better lace up. They'll be screaming at you every day. Better get your cake up. If you want to get ahead in this life, happiness comes at a sky high price these days. I've been wary of the struggle. Is it necessary? Chase the hustle. Join the grind. Settle the cloudy had a dreams not what it seems this is more to me my identity this is not free it's risky all right so that feels about right just in terms of uh, keeping the dynamics reined in i'll turn the gain up just a bit so that we get the uh, the volume right and then i'm going to switch to some of the other styles here just to give you an idea right now we're on clean which is just a nice transparent compressor but uh, the Classic and the Opto are going to give you a bit more of a vintage, kind of warmer tone, a little bit more aggressive in terms of the compression happening. Wake up, you ain't got to bake up a fake up. You better lace up. They'll be screaming at you every day. Better get your cake up. If you want to get ahead in this life, happiness comes at a sky high price these days. So the vocal option, very aggressive. It's going to put things a lot more up front. So you wouldn't need to dial the threshold back as much. If you want to get ahead in this life, happiness comes at a sky high price these days. I've been we can also mix in some of the dry signal. Just uh, kind of like a parallel sort of processing with the uncompressed. Chase the hustle, join the grind, settle early, lose your mind now. Hmm, which what I prefer? People looking at us saying, what do they infer? The cloudy headed dreams, not what it seems. Let's leave that parked here. Also, with all the FabFilter uh, plugins, they do have resizable GUIs. And the Pro Q3 is also something that you can go into full screen mode. Yes. So this is just nice to be able to get really surgical. And you may be able to do that with the Pro C2 as well. Yes, you can. So you can get in and, uh, you know, really uh, make sure that you're not straining your eyes looking at these plugins as you're making your edits. We're going to be doing some active EQing with this by utilizing the dynamics processing. This is a really cool feature in Pro Q3 for those of you who may not be familiar. But uh, we're going to make a nice high boost. We'll just full screen it. What the heck? Let's do it in here. Let me get over and uh, just switch up the cycle for us so that y'all aren't listening to the same part of my rap. We're going to make a nice boost here at about 12k. Which what I prefer. People looking at us saying, what do they infer? The cloudy headed dreams, not what it seems. Okay, so if we want to make this a dynamic uh, band here, we just go into this outer circle. And then if we click and hold that down, you'll see that we can move the dynamic range up or down. In this case, we're going to be boosting it. And you'll see how this works as I turn this up. Which what I prefer. People looking at us saying, what do they infer? The cloudy had a dreams, not what it seems. And then we open the uh, threshold control here. So, mm, which what I prefer. People looking at us saying, what do they infer? The cloudy had a dreams, not what it seems. This is more to me, my identity. This is not free. So, I'm just going to pull it down a little bit to make sure that we hit those parts. I'm going to widen the cue. Mm, which what I prefer. People looking at us saying, what do they infer? The my identity, this is not free, it's risky Finding your true self out here when the past never been clear Trying to steer you in every direction, reality check lessons Last night sin So just utilizing the active aspect of that, the dynamic EQ It just gives you a smoother result, especially when you're doing these types of boosts So if I was to take the, uh, the dynamic off which what I prefer People looking at us and what do they infer The cloudy had a dreams not what it seems This is more to me, my identity This just sounds a lot smoother to me And it's not accentuating You know, all of those frequencies up there That uh, some of them are going to be a little harsher So now let's also utilize an active 
or dynamic EQ band here in some of the uh, the mids, low mids. Let's just see, there was um, some problematic areas still after we did the deductive EQ. Utilizing this uh, threshold is going to be helpful for us. Let me see here. Mm, which what I prefer? People looking at us saying, what do they infer? The cloudy headed dreams not what it means. Me, my identity, this is not free. Risky. Finding your true self out here with the past of a big man. Trying to see you in every direction. Re All right, so let's pull this down just a bit. And for this, we're going to do the opposite. So we're actually going to be uh, pulling this dynamic EQ range down. Mm, which what I prefer. People looking at us saying, what do they infer? The cloudy headed dreams, not what it seems. This is more to me, my identity. In the past, never been clear. Try to steer you in every direction. Reality check lessons. Last night's sin is my morning confession. I'm sorry. When you wake up. Nice, nice. So another thing I want to point out that's really cool is that we can actually change the scale. And what this is, is a control that when I, I increase this, it will just take any of the, the bands that we've put in here and the adjustments we've made, and it will actually scale it. So if we were at 100%, this is just you know how we drew it. But if we go and we take the gain scale to 200%, you'll see that it will proportionally make those increases and decreases in terms of uh, how we set those, those bands up. And then we can also do the same thing in terms of just taking it down to zero all the way up to 100 if you want to bring it back. So this is really useful in the mixing process whenever we kind of dial the, the, uh, the bands that we know need to be there. But maybe, you know, let's just say I got a little carried away with that high boost that we did. We can just gain scale it back and do it in a way that's going to make sense. So let's just bring it down, um, say to like 50%. Mm, which what I prefer. People looking at us saying, what do they infer? The cloudy headed dreams, not what it seems. This is more or, you know, alternately, if we were like, you know, it sounds good, but we need a little, little bit uh, more of those cuts to come out. Mm, which what I prefer. People looking at us saying, what do they infer? The cloudy headed dreams, not what it seems. This is more to me, my identity. This is not free, it's risky. Finding your true self out here when the past never been clear. Trying to steer you in every direction. Reality check lessons. Last night's sin is my morning confession. I'm sorry. So I think we've done some nice work there with our uh, dynamic EQ. Mm -hmm. 